Well, first of all, let's dispense with this nonsense and see these boys as they really are, because this, indeed, are two of the band that everyone's been reading about and nobody has been talking about. It's Tony James and Martin Digville from Zig Zig Sputnik. Good evening, Muriel. Good evening, boys. Now, you've been doing so well so far. Why take the risk uh, of spoiling it all by releasing a record? I think releasing a record will be a good fun, don't you? A very interesting part there, Muriel. <laughs> what I would like to say is that the reason we got four million from EMI is because this group has four million pounds worth of ideas. And, see, and that's why this group is going to happen in a very, very big way. No, I believe that's a wee bit of a porky pie. I don't think it is actually <laughs> exactly. four million, is no. it? Well, it's it's only three million nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine <laughs> pence. <laughs> you must explain to me, I find fascinating the idea of designer violence. Is that sort of Terence Conran Ooh. throwing a bread roll at a dinner party? No, which is it? Well, designer violence looks like Miami Vice, you know, when helicopters explode in glorious slow motion and no one ever gets hurt. Do you absolutely hate the music business? I think we find the music business an endless time of enjoyment yeah, it's and a complete, fun. The music business is a complete boon. I don't think there's any groups out there that have any idea whatsoever. They have no creativity, no imagination, and there are no contenders to the throne that we're going to take. What, so what exactly does your creativity take? I mean, what, is, what would you say was so creative about it? Fun, fun, Muriel. Fun, Muriel. Muriel. <laughs> Ariel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would you say you're particularly creative? I mean, you, you don't look awfully creative. You look a wee bit like gonks. I mean, very cute, but I mean, not particularly exactly. threatening. Exactly. beauty looking at you in the I face. I think we'd like to answer that in this way. <laughs> it's a very, very clever answer to it, and I really enjoyed that. Are you not scared, Zig Zig Sputnik? I'm going to be a bit like a funny car sticker, you know, amusing the first time, and then you hate it every time you look at it afterwards. I don't think so, Muriel. You don't think so? Well, you could always have a sticker that said, my other band are musicians. <laughs> I don't think she knows what she's talking about, really. <laughs> no, not at all. But, I mean, continue with another question. Oh, I see, all these other things are happening there. Do beg your pardon. This exactly. is very like television. Stuck the words. I know. Stuck well, the it's words. just your great beauty. Now tell me, what exactly is going to Why happen you when you first video, Muriel. I'm not it's the slightest exciting. bit interested Everyone's in the video. Everyone's just seen the video of oh, no. Muriel. Uh, no well. idea. <laughs> now what we're going to do. Are you very excited about the prospect of your single doing well? We're always excited, well? Muriel. Let me tell you a joke. Let me Don't tell you a joke. Let me tell you a joke. Knock, knock. The single's going to be number one. Elvis. Elvis who? <laughs> You've forgotten already, you talentless <laughs> twit. <laughs> Doesn't she know who Elvis is? Well, this is the kind of thing the music business is up against, and this is the people that are going to take the throne away from the people who are making the records in this industry. Isn't How Brandon famous are you going to be? On TV? Yes, How famous are you is. going to be, Martin? Uh, more famous than the Queen of England, I think. Oh, more famous than Coca-Cola. <laughs> Even more famous than this man. It is back to Jules. <laughs> Thank you, Jules.